Hey guys, it's Vince. Um, I wanted to go over a design that's one of them designs that's probably long overdue. Um, a lot of my clients ask me, I have a lot of different clients, and one of, the, uh, one of the things that comes up routinely is, can you build me a plasma control system? Or are your systems compatible with plasma cutters? And I want to assure everybody, yes, my systems are compatible with plasma cutters, but more so, I want to emphasize that a plasma control system really isn't a plasma control system without a torch eye controller. Um, most guys already know that. For the novices out there that don't realize that, um, you will require one at one time or another. You'll figure that out sooner or later. And again, budget being everything. Again, these devices are not cheap, but to do it right, you really are going to look at a torch eye controller. That being said, integration into the system is something that would have to be looked at to do it to actually engineer properly and make sure that everything functions as it should. That's something that also had to be looked at. Um, so after doing a lot of you know head scratching and and really looking at the dilemmas involved with this, actually the hardest thing I found to do this right, and when I say right, I mean overall right, not just build the box and sell the unit, is support. Everything I sell, I have the best support I feel in the industry. I have Gecko Drive supporting uh, the drive itself. Their warranties are top notch. You don't, you can research this. I hope you do. Most of you already know if you've dealt with me, that's a fact. Um, on top of that, their uh, technical support is excellent. Because um, whatever I don't know, and, and again, I don't know everything, but whatever I don't know, I can always refer to them as well as yourself. And they don't hide behind the Internet like a lot of vendors do. They, they welcome tech support over the phone, and if you have to call, you can call. Um, I wanted to integrate a torch height system, torch height controller, that I could offer my systems with the same support that I offer on my general motion control systems. And that being said, let me tell you, that is not easy to do because in this industry, there is a lot of vendors who like to hide or do direct flip. They hide behind the Internet. They'll answer you through emails. There's not a lot of direct support in the sense that they'll get back to you right away. Or, you know, I understand if you're international, if you're local, I don't see there being a problem to get back right away with a customer, especially since that customer just dropped that amount of money. These are not cheap systems. You guys are already aware of that. 99.9% um, .9 of this industry that includes tech support of some sort, they're going to hit you hard in, a, in either an a la carte fee or... Uh, an overall fee added to the system to include it because they're paying, you're paying for it, again, to have them extra people in-house. So it got me to think, and I knew a couple people in the field. I, I wanted to research a couple things. And I'm really happy to say I found a company, and they're uh, based in the U.S. They're out of Arkansas. All they deal with is plasma cutting. I've known the, or the owner and I have spoken now for quite some time, and his name is Al. He's an expert, I feel, in the field of plasma torch height control is essentially the one that I'm including with the system. And he assured me that if I include and incorporate his plasma control systems for height, that he will support setting up the plasma part of your system. So let me, let me tell you exactly what that means. When I say support it, I don't mean just email. I mean phone support and even get this, and this is something that I really love. He has remote desktop support, so he can actually see your settings and access your computer remotely to make sure you're doing things correctly and everything is set correctly. Because, guys, you are investing a lot of money, and you deserve it, damn it. That's the way it's supposed to be. So with that being said, um, I, I, again, I worked really hard. I, I spoke to him for a couple hours. He was excited about it. Um, he's doing it now with uh, what he sells on his site. Um, he basically goes over everything. Um, as far as settings go, you guys will have individual questions based upon what plasma system you're using. Because, again, there's no way I can build a system for a specific plasma. There are just too many variables involved. But I can build a motion control system and integrate the torch height controller as long as 
the proper support is offered for that torch height controller, and in this case it will be. He understands all the different types of plasma systems out, and again, he's got phone support, he has remote desktop support. And the best part about the remote desktop support or the phone support is it's unlimited and it's free. If you have to be on the phone with him for two, three hours, he will do that. If he has to remotely access your system, he will do that. I mean, this is stuff that I can tell you right now, no one else offers, no one else is willing to do. If you have questions about the get-go, if you have questions about the power supply or any piece of hardware inside the system, you would naturally come to me. The great thing is if you have any questions then that pertain to the torch height control or part of the system, you also have direct support for that. That being said, the next thing I wanted to make sure was you had a warranty, okay? Um, I'm not going to include anything with my systems that are not warrantied, either by myself or the manufacturer that's, that's being incorporated in the system. Why? Once again, because let's stop the BS, that's the way it should be done. Um, when I say that, it's got to be something that's supported in the U.S. and something that can be handled as fast as possible, because if you're manufacturing, we all know time is crucial. So. I've integrated that as well. Um, the torch height controller that's now integrated into my system features a three-year warranty, and that's direct from the manufacturer. That being said, bringing up the manufacturer, most of you are familiar with the Proma torch height controller. My system will now feature a Proma torch height controller 150. It's the THC 150. It's a micro torch controller, very basic in design, but gets the job done efficiently. Um, I feel confident in the fact that now we have a U.S. supporter, I have a phone support, email support, and I also have remote desktop support along with the warranty integration with my system. I feel confident now that you guys will be more secure in purchasing and getting the, the kind of support you need when you purchase this type of system. Um, again, I'm planning for the worst and hope for the best. I say that in all my videos. That's manufacturing. Um, again, I don't know who I'm selling to. I don't know the background of who I'm selling to. If you're just getting started, again, you're going to have a lot of questions. If you're somebody who's been involved in, in CNC, uh, this should be nothing new to you. But support, I, I will say, means a lot. And again, to me, I still have questions. I run into questions all the time. And, you know, you never stop learning in this. If you ever stop learning, then something's wrong. You should always be learning in this. There's always things to learn. So that being said, I'm going to dive right in and cover this system. And I want to cover everything that I've incorporated because I did incorporate a lot of new things. This system did have to be designed a certain way so that everything works not only smoothly, but everything is done in the way I would do things. And I'll let you be the judge. You will, once again, you guys are the best judge as far as how I'm incorporating and building the system in a professional format. So overall, we've got really basic. I'll just cover the outline. We're going to use a G540, which will make the drives four axis, of course. Your system will be four axis X, Y, Z, A. All your step and direction signals are on the front of the drive. Okay, auxiliary port for another 120 volt socket, typical of a home or straight business. 10 amp fuse, IEC power input. That's going to be the power structure of our system. Again, that will power everything from 120 or you could use 220 or 120. The power supply inside here is selectable. Okay, I'm going to lift the enclosure lid off now. Now I'm going to pan around and I'm going to show you inside the system. So please forgive me. I'm not a professional photographer. I'm going to do it as fast and as, or excuse me, as slow and as fast as possible to keep everything smooth. Once again, typical format. Flux is used. All solder points are done. Everything is heat shrunk, so of course it's insulated. Now we're going to pan over here and you're going to see the extra added design on the box. Okay. And again, just slide my computer over. You've got your Proma. And I wanted to cover a design that I'm real proud of. I made a tooless mount for the Proma. There is nothing like this on the market. It is thumb, thumb nutted in place. And this toolless mounting system leaves total access to the Proma for adjustment on your torch height. If you ever need to do anything with wiring, you're all set. Um, that being said, the wiring on this is very basic. 
You can see over here I also have the shielded because these wires, these cables are made by me. I custom made these cables using military grade heat shrink with integrated shielding. The shielding inside this heat shrink is a, a uh, metal film. It's conductive, of course. And again, it is now uh, earth grounded right over to the base. So everything here is done properly. And the power is also shielded. Okay? So everything you see here with this black sheathing is actually shielded heat shrink so that the signals coming from your G540 are now shielded going into your Proma. Okay? But once again, the design is pretty, pretty amazing in the sense that it's so simple. The brackets design, again, if you need to remove the unit, you would just undo your thumb nuts. You could have the unit off and, and ready to service in a matter of minutes. Um, I also integrated cable holders, which are bolted in, so that when you run your uh, wiring in from your uh, plasma, you'll be all set to go. If these are too small, I can supply different sizes. This way everything is held nice and neat. Everything directly bolts into the box. There is no screw-in because I wanted direct support. This way it becomes actually part of the box. It's a much simpler operation when you're dealing with that. Um, again. The power supply that powers the Proma is a 12 volt, 5 amp power supply, more than enough power. Again, it, it, it works directly with the 48 volt. Um, everything is bridged, as you can see properly, right over. Again, your cooling system then is in. The 5 amp power supply, 12 volt, does not emit nearly enough heat. Actually, very, very little temperature increases, maybe 3 to 5 degrees. So you're good there. I'm going to power on the system now and show you how this works. You see the promo came up with 120. You would then set your voltage and all this neat stuff. I'm not going to get into that because that's not something that we have to go into here until you have your plasma. So those settings will all be determined once it's hooked to your plasma cutter. We once again see the Gecko has heat sinks. This is all included in the system. Sanyo Denki 60 by 38 mil fan. All wiring tied appropriately as it should be. Power supply is selectable again for the 110, 220 volt input. And again, you've got your LED for your 12 volt. Power supplies are all bolted in too, guys. No, no, nothing here is jerry rigged. This is the way it should be. I'm going to engage the fault. You've got the green on the gecko waiting to receive signals. I'll engage fault. Disengage. Engage. Disengage. Flawless. Body control sticker again is on the unit itself. That comes direct from gecko. That symbolizes the gecko does come with a full one year warranty, direct through gecko. The unit requires any type of servicing, it gets mailed in, and everything is taken care of directly through gecko. LED power switch, typical mushroom knee stop. Turn her off because she's loud. But again, this system took me quite a bit to design it. Um, it is absolutely, as far as I'm concerned, it's definitely the top-notch system I've seen out. Um, everything here, again, the enclosure is solid, is aluminum. There is no um, mistaking that as far as the capacity at which it can withstand a lot of abuse. Um, a lot of the systems I've seen out are either nylon or in some cases or whatnot. You guys, again, are paying a lot for this. It should be done right. Again, all the wiring, you can see everything is in here. 20 gauge wiring used to come in from 20 gauge actually 300 volt insulated wiring to come in from the gecko to wire in the system itself. Um, everything is labeled. Again you'd have uh, pin 1 on the gecko is for up on the terminal block. Pin 2 is for arc and pin 3 is for down. And then the com actually goes to the negative, one of the comms, on the actual motor power supply, or in, that, in this case, the power supply powering the gecko. And then, of course, you have your power inputs. This is your power supply inputs from your 12 volt to power the Proma, and you're set. And then the only thing left to do is connect your plasma right up here, 
and you can see, if I can get down low enough, you can actually see where it goes in right here in the terminal block. So we're set there. Other than that, you can see this system, I mean, it was definitely designed, I feel, the right way. It's got every feature you could imagine as far as uh, most plasma guys, they want something simple, something effective, and something that is warranted. You have that now. So, I'm going to put the lid on. I'll show you how I how I actually uh, did the lid. Let me just rotate everything around. set to go. You'll never have to worry about it. if you go to remove anything or service the unit, clean the box. You just would remove the lid and nothing interferes with anything. Okay. So once again, I just wanted to give you guys a brief overview of this design. It will now be available on my eBay store if you guys are my eBay customers and you're looking. Um, I can't emphasize enough to go and um, review different uh, chassis before purchasing. Again, everything I'm offering in this enclosure is supported in the U.S., and I'm proud to say that. I'm very proud to say that. Um, I'm also proud to say that between the Gecko and this, the Gecko you get the one-year warranty, the Promo you're going to get a, a three-year warranty, um, again, I really don't know anything in the industry that comes with that is free. The tech support involved, I don't know any, anybody else that's offering that for free. And as far as the quality of the system, it's, I think it's pretty much uh, cut and dry. I mean, standard power supply for the Gecko included with this system is a 48 volt, 12 and a half, which is, which is insane power for this unit. That comes as standard. And the pricing I will be setting for this will be uh, directly related to that in the sense that uh, I can assure you no one is offering that kind of capacity at the price I'll be setting. So, but again, I wanted everybody to see it. I'm really, really proud of it. And the design is just, it just came out really, really well. Again, this is a customer's box, believe it or not. This is not a, uh, not something I built for the video. This is getting shipped today. So I just wanted to cover the design and hopefully if you guys have any questions, you'll be all set. Um, if you do, uh, you can message me through eBay. Uh, I'm also going to put up on the eBay site, I'll put up who you can message if you have any questions. Because if you are looking at purchasing this, I really want you guys to be familiar with the Torch Height system, how they work. Do they meet the criteria? Because uh, after speaking to Al, I found out that Torch Height controllers, the way they work, is not typically what most people think they work like. And uh, he covered the Promas design to me so that I could understand it. And I also had my customer of this box, an individual, I had him call and talk to him to make sure it fit what he wanted before he purchased it. And I think that's just the right way to do business. I don't want you guys buying stuff blindly and hoping for the best. I don't want that. I want you to have some expectation of what to expect. Of course, setup is going to be involved on any system, but you should be able to understand what you're purchasing. I think that's, that's a given. Um, the Proma unit is is manufactured in Poland. Alan is a Al is a direct distributor of them, so the warranty will be U.S. based. So that's a great thing. The, the returns and the support are all U.S. based, and that that was my big concern. And and in getting you guys more more support, and not only that, getting you that that fundamental aspect that now now the system is offered in the U.S. that offers basically the capacity to do probably, I would say, about 85, 75 to 85 percent of motion control for plasma systems and do it without breaking the bank. You're not going to pay for extra support. It's there. It's included. I think overall, as time goes by and, and you guys do more reviews, you'll figure out this is definitely one of the top contenders in that field. So I thank you for checking out the system. Um, I'm going to get this one out and I will be filming more videos on more designs and offering uh, different videos on different products as well. And any questions you have, don't be afraid to message me. Thank you.